Hello YouTube, this is Kestel Caden, and today I am bringing you Walking Dead. Now, if you haven't purchased this game or haven't actually played it, I suggest you do. I tried it for a little bit and I was amazed. Now, this game specifically actually probably most likely got me interested in the show, which I can't wait to start. And it actually got me really interested in the whole zombie genre altogether. So, information's right here at telltalegames.com. I suggest getting it. Let's begin. So, I actually prefer standard. I'd rather not have to randomly click on things until I find something that's actually useful. And this is the part that I actually love about this game because well, as you'll see in the first couple of minutes, the choices that you make really affect everything. And a lot of the relationships you develop, well, they're really intricate and volatile. And intricate. And even more volatile. <laughs> um, the game is actually split up into, at the moment, four episodes, with a fifth one coming out, I believe, closer to the end of the year. And every episode, I believe, is around maybe three to four hours, maybe? More? Maybe less, depending on how good you are at the game. And man, does this game take a lot of risks, but it's awesome. Just waiting for the voices to kick in. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Why do you say Why that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? And what do you say? Sorry, I have to lower my voice a bit. I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Gotta love the accents. You're for making then? For making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. Now this isn't like a classic shooter type of game, but I mean... Hell. It's very interesting the way that they did this. It's kind of like a point-and-click adventure, but there's a lot of action elements. Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Hmm. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Not sure if you noticed, there's actually a few uh, UTA. cop cars that went by. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Ha. Huh. You want to know how I see it? And more of them. Sure. 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 Nah. That was a stink face. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh snap. <laughs> he didn't want to say it. Helicopter, by the way. So yeah, something's going down on that end, so yeah, things are starting to heat up. Let's You'll talk to, to him to again. Stop worrying about things you can't control. Nah. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes. To my knowledge, I think you actually did do it, but regardless. Says it wasn't him. Not sure. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. 
and I'll tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. Sorry that I'm looking around, I'm just kind of exploring. Uh, um, so did he do it? Did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, <laughs> stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Gotta love the language. My car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Son. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a Note bit the road. hilarious if I do say so. Watch out! This other time... Ah. And this is The Walking Dead, people. Gotta love that intro. This is what kind of caught my attention. This is how it all started. Here, basically, somebody being eaten. Wake up! Sorry. His name is Lee, by the way, just for future reference. You'll be introduced oh, to that in a bit. Shit. I'm not sure if they mentioned that just yet. Thirsty. Ah. Thirsty? There's a whole crap load of blood everywhere. Worry about that first. Uh, cops right there, so, yeah. Let's see here. So, first thing to do, kick the window a couple times. Uh, try to move with the forward key. What do I want to do? The door is locked. I need to drag, drag myself, myself out. So yeah, to switch between them, you can either scroll or uh, press either one or two or whatever you're using on a console. I got it for PC because, I mean, I prefer the precision of a mouse for a lot of my games. Mind you, I do some PS3 gaming, but... Nothing like I do on PC. PC's the closest to my heart. So yeah, you can't really move anywhere except in... Well, basically where they want you to move, in a sense. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on moving. I need to uh, grab a couple things. Let's first take the shotgun shell. That's got to hurt, the uh, wound on his leg. The officer's shotgun is over there. Let's pick it up. It sounds like it hurts, anyway. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Note the somewhat foreshadowing. You now have to actually walk over to the cop, so, you know. It's fun times. All around. Quite literally. Officer? God damn. Yo, cop. Officer? To walk actually closer to him. One. Shit. <laughs> Drop the keys. Smart one, doofus. Unlock. Unlock number two. Officer. Man, that part freaks me out. Okay, so I need to keep on backing away with us, and uh... Yeah. <laughs> Oh damn, I thought there was a shotgun. There's a shotgun. 
and the screen starts turning red, and the closer red it is, the more in danger that you are. And you can die in this game, so that's, I think, what makes it really fun. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait. It's a zombie. I'm gonna kill it. It's very graphic, and I love the animation style. Telltale really did a good job on this. Kind of cell shade. Well, cell shading, I guess. Yeah. Are you dead? <laughs> hey, are you dead? Missing half a head, and he's asking if he's dead. Hey, somebody's there. Help! Go get someone. There's been a shooting. Hey, I just noticed who that was. Gotta love the zombie noises. This game is, again, awesome to all extents and purposes. <laughs> they really push the boundaries, let's leave it at that. Run! <laughs> as long as they don't invent zombies that can climb, they're good. Mindless as always. And he's reached a safe haven. Those poor souls that were shooting that gun are probably going to get killed now, but you're safe, so it doesn't matter really, does it? Who cares about them? <laughs> you're not Nom Nom Don. Hello? Hi. Anybody? So yeah, I I mean, there's a lot you can click on from here. I mean, well, you'll see. Talk to Treehouse. Anybody up there? So yeah, this has been Kestel Caden. I am going to be signing off. Well, I'm going to be walking around a bit, but I'm going to be signing off. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of The Walking Help! Dead. If you haven't played it, and if you do want to hear Lee start ranting on about help randomly and limping, do play it. It's an awesome game. Can I fall into the pool? Nope. There it is. Not a pool. So, like and subscribe in the comments, and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. This has been Kestel Caden, signing off.